everyone it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another vlog it's day four of my 30 days of blind and i have to get myself situated for success so we're starting this week off strong i gotta do a video today so that i'm set and i'm always a couple days ahead of schedule i gotta edit tomorrow's video so that it's up by midnight i'm thinking about pushing it back to noon so i have a couple extra hours to edit that's my biggest fear with this 30 days thing is that editing is something that I'd love to do faster, but with my vision, I just can't. So I just have to find a way to best set myself up for success. So it's gonna be a lot of interesting life lessons in the next couple of weeks, but I'm glad that you guys have been liking the content so far and I'm gonna keep them coming for the next 26 days. I need to have lunch, so I'm gonna film really quickly because I have a bad habit of eating lunch super late when I film because it happens right during my usual lunch time. So let me get to that and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. That's a wrap. I don't even like my intro, but I don't want to do it too many times. I have a migraine, so I figure, you know, it's more important that I get some food in my system than try to get this perfect. <sighs> Just one of them days, but it's so sunny. I hope it's mild out there. We'll see. I'm going to throw on some pants because I'm wearing shorts and it's not that warm. So let's try the new sushi spot around the corner. I wonder if it's even open today. I didn't even think about that. And me, it's so cute. The kids are having the time of their life playing in the park. The rest of this park is packed with people just chilling, having picnics, walking and playing with their dogs. I love the spring. I just wanted to walk through here as I wait for my sushi. It took me so long to choose which rolls I wanted because I had to zoom in. I didn't read everything. At one point I just got frustrated. I'm like, do you have this one? And she's like, yeah, we do. And then it took me a while to struggle with the what do you call that? The pin pad too, because I couldn't see the options for tipping. And they gave me two chopsticks. They probably thought this was food for two, but no, my fat soul wants to eat all of it. No, I'll probably eat half of this and most of this and save some for lunch tomorrow. I'm so excited, it looks good. We don't have a good sushi spot here, so hopefully this new one gets my stamp or seal of approval because I'm a sushi fiend. Although I can't look at seafood the same since Seaspiracy. I kind of feel guilty. I love me some sushi. What is this? It's warm, probably an egg roll. Hola, oh, uh, hello. I haven't had one of these in a long, long time. Okay, let me get my chopsticks ready. Oh wait, I have proper ones. Let me use them. Chop, chop. I'm gonna eat this while I listen to the rest of the Easter Sunday sermon from Pastor Craig. And then I have to get to editing. I'm super behind on my day. I'm so, I don't even know where to start. Do I want the soup first? Yes, probably, let's do that. I feel like it's tradition to start with miso first. Anytime I walk by this spot, it's so busy. And the only open, well, can I chew? <laughs> they only opened up maybe one, two weeks ago, and they're already busy every single time I walk by. I never knew that wasabi is fake horseradish, or is it real horseradish that's flavored like wasabi? So much better than the farm boy sushi. Whoa, that's really good. This is good. You know what this makes me miss? All you can eat. It's been so long since I've had all you can eat sushi. I used to mess up the all you can eats. You know, you gotta watch out for the skinny minis because they're the ones that can really throw it down. I'm not gonna eat all of this in one sitting. I mean, I could, but I just, I don't want to. Plus I do want to meal prep and eat some of that tonight. So probably finish off the green dragon because I feel like the avocado is not really good second day. Happy Easter Monday. It wouldn't be Monday without some tech difficulties. I'm gonna have to restart my computer because this has been happening all morning. Not only that, I woke up so late, seven minutes before I was supposed to clock in. Usually I give myself enough time to wake up, 
meditate, do some yoga. Mm, I was not about today. So we're off to a rough start, but we're okay. We're getting through everything. Eventually, I'm going to go out and go for a walk for my lunch break. I'm thinking about also filming my how I do my podcast videos today so that I don't feel rushed and pressed tomorrow. When I zoomed in, my clock on the computer said 2 p.m. I can't believe it. Time is flying. I'm not complaining because Mondays are usually slow, or maybe it's me that's slow. Any Monday after a long weekend always goes so quickly, so I'm grateful. I'm gonna eat a little bit of the leftover sushi from yesterday. Apparently I rationed seven pieces. Okay, maybe not. But I'm just gonna try to savor these, but eat them quickly because it was sunny and now it's starting to get a little overcast. And I still wanna go for that walk. back just in time to wrap up my lunch break and my diffuser just turned off it's supposed to be like six hours i think which is very fitting because today's video nope wrong hanger was the aromatherapy video i hope you guys like it i like that i'm doing a whole bunch of different topics this month it gets me to get out of my comfort zone so i've come up with three ideas for my pod that i'm going to film tonight I have to choose just one and I might use the other one for tomorrow's podcast, the Patreon one. But first, drink. I'm so thirsty. That walk really I'm dehydrated. Not a fan of vegetable drinks, but this juice is so good. They really filled that to the top. I think I should go grocery shopping tonight. My fridge is almost empty. But then anything I do now is going to take time away from editing. And I got to start editing the vlog so it's up on time gosh monday migraine all right let's put this away so i can get to film the pod this is the first time i'm posting my pod on youtube wait did i already tell you i might have already told you but my head was spinning i'm like oh my gosh usually what i say on the pod world is so different from what i say on youtube that i'm just like <laughs> i don't worry i'm not gonna talk about anything crazy like politics but it's gonna be nice to get to share with the YouTube fam what it's like on the pod. Look at a mess. What a mess. I'm so excited to try these. I hope they're just as good as beet chips, but more healthy. I don't know what it is, but lately I've been so obsessed with pears. It's like I'm going back to basics. I'm a baby now. I get cream cheese, and I wanted to make a cream cheesecake for Jeff and David Square. Potatoes. I think that's it. That's that on that. All right, the chips are better. Once you start, you're just gonna stop. Seven, let's go. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go. I know I look busted. It's because I am. Around nine o'clock last night, I started to feel. The strangest back pain. I've never had pain like this before. I couldn't sleep last night because of it. It started to go to my front body where just under my chest, I could feel this tightness too. Even this morning, I feel it in a really bad way. I thought if I did a couple yoga sessions, I'd feel better. But after three, I feel just as tight no matter what I do. Whew. This pain is different. For anyone that has back pain, I have respect for you because this is... This is terrible. I do. I have to clock in and be on my desk all day today. And I don't think sitting in front of my computer crouching over, struggling to see is gonna help this situation. <sighs> wow. All glammed up and ready to go. I'm gonna film a quick video for my matcha moment. Okay, so I got my protein shake here. I'm gonna use a little bit of my lunch break to refilm the pod or re-record whatever because the one that i posted with the youtube video yesterday had way too much feedback i can't put that on when the only thing you're gonna have on the podcast is audio i'll let it slide if i filmed a video and the audio is static key or there's a little bit of feedback there's a video and at least you're looking at something but when it's a podcast i've had a couple of technical difficulties but i don't want that to be the way i do things going forward so I don't know why I was stressing myself out so much yesterday, but I feel lighter. I don't wanna put out bad quality content just for the sake of it. So I'm glad that I took the time to redo this. I'm gonna upload both and I have just enough time to go on a 20 minute walk and rush into the grocery store.
formed a little bit of meal prep so you can see what I'm doing. Really smoky. Okay, we're good. I ran out of jasmine rice. Five head is in full effect because I just decided pineapple was the style for the rest of the night. And let's see how spicy is this. Do you like spicy food? I love spicy food, but sometimes I put too much. That's good. For the first time ever, I only have 57 minutes of footage. Usually I have two to four hours for my weekly vlog. So I don't know what was going on last week. Maybe I lost some footage. Hopefully not, because I wouldn't mind only having to edit that, especially since usually I give myself three nights to edit. Wow, that's actually spicy. Ooh, look at this mess. It takes five minutes to put everything away, but it makes me feel so much better about my day. This is the outfit of the day, nothing crazy. As I was walking to work, there was these two older ladies. They were so cute. I said, excuse me to get past them. And then one of them turned back and was like, oh, you're on your way to work, be safe, take care. And I was like, oh, thanks, enjoy your day. She must've been a mom. Then I passed by that usual Caribbean guy that said, enjoy the weather. He's so cute. It is very nice today though, so I'm very happy about that. So let's get to work, chop, chop. This milk is so good. what the temperature is but it's definitely warm enough for me to set up my patio i'm so excited the balcony makes this bachelor so worth it honestly if they had made this apartment as big as it is with the balcony being indoors it would probably be a one bedroom it's literally half the size of my studio apartment okay but first goodbye weather stripping which wasn't even doing anything because it didn't stay stuck it's a nice attempt though. I'm so excited, you don't even know. Imagine all the gunk that's been on here since this time last year. It's getting warmer, but it's not out. I don't think I've shopped at Aritzia since last summer. I used to be super obsessed with this clothing company when the world was still open. Because I got a lot of my fancy smancy clothes from there because it's not cheap. But, oh, this color is so pretty. So this is the cozy fleece and then this is the airy fleece. I wish this red was more bold. I know they said it was supposed to be faded to make each look individual and worn in, but this is too faded. A good transitional piece. I could wear this in the summer. Like summer nights can be cold here. But why is the red so faded though? Many hoodies. Currently I have one peach neutral toned one. And then I have the one you see me wear in every single vlog, that polka dot one that I've had for 15 years. It's so faded and this part is torn, but I still love it. So it's nice to have something, and this one is as light as this one. I was expecting it to be a little thicker like this, but this is actually perfect because I can always wear a long sleeve underneath it. But this is great for the spring. I actually, you guys are gonna think I'm insane, but because I have so much clothes, I get picky about the smallest things. This, I'm not really a fan of it. I like more of the ones that don't have the pockets, like the one I already own, but they don't make that style anymore. That's my haul for probably next month. I'm on such a strict budget. I don't wanna spend my money the way I used to, just cause looking back at life, it's like there's so many things I wish I could do that I can't do now, like travel. And now I'm kind of scared, honestly, that whenever this is over, over, how well can I see to actually experience and enjoy traveling again? Like I'm so grateful I went to Marrakesh and the reason why I pushed to go with Marcus so much 
in 2019 was because I was unsure how well I would see in the future. And I couldn't foresee that this would happen and I wouldn't travel at all this year or at all last year. So just like whenever we're allowed to travel freely, will I be able to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa or the Great Wall of China or the tombs in Egypt or Machu Picchu in Peru or there's so many things I want to experience and do. I definitely want to go back to the continent of Africa. I'm so tired of people saying, I'm going to Africa. It's like, okay, where? It's not like you say, I'm going to North America because US and Canada are so different. Like, I want to go to Kenya. I want to go to Ghana. I want to go to Nigeria. This, I'm so extra for no reason. It's going to fade so badly though, I already know. It's a vibe. The place I forgot to spray my face today and I need it because for some reason I'm getting a rash. I don't know if it's the new hair products or some type of stress, but this helps it relax. I made this soup so long ago, I don't even know if it's hot anymore. I need to go out and grab spinach at some point today. I don't know if there's anything else I need. I feel stupid going to the supermarket during these times for just one thing, but I really want to update my intake of magnesium. So I want to do some spinach. I got some avocado in the fridge that I need to make. Should I buy toast just for two avocados? I don't know, that's kind of a waste. Maybe I'll just make a guacamole. Food for thought, literally. Ooh, that reminds me, I gotta put flax seeds into this soup before I eat it. My mind is all over the place today. Okay, I did all my work, at least whatever came into my inbox today. Sure, there's gonna be more to come because we were two hours out before the day is done. But I'm gonna go back and go and do everything that I didn't get to yesterday. There's a lot and I want Monday to be a blank slate. So let's get through that. And of course I made a mess. Oh shoot. So maybe I do have some other things to get other than spinach. I just got back from dropping off the red shirt. I just returned it to Penguin Pickup. And I want to go back outside. I have a lot to edit though, so I'm kind of like, maybe I'll just enjoy myself tomorrow. Woo but it's so bright and warm. I just want to soak in the sun. I kind of want to try rollerblading again since I only rollerbladed twice last summer and I want to do it a lot this summer but I might not go by the harbor front because I almost wiped out last year. Eleven thirty. my video is supposed to be scheduled for midnight, but my computer crashed, so... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. See what starts up. It's an over this, so we're gonna switch it. It's time for some spring linen. Woo! What the hell? That's dangerous. It's my bad. juice stat because I'm thirsty AF. Then I gotta do probably a Cooper James workout and then a yoga sesh. Have breakfast. Don't forget my protein shakes I forgot yesterday. Then I gotta film three videos, enjoy some of the sun, come back, edit, have lunch. Probably not in that order though. The rest is history. scenes of banquet blindy constantly cleaning in between film it's so grimy here man i talked to you while i did it instead of doing a voiceover maybe the second version of this i'll do
roll out the red carpet. Oh, it doesn't even come out. Okay. See what I mean about everything being difficult? While that chills, I'm gonna go on my walk, might as well. Where is the day gone? It's already after six. I was supposed to go for a walk from earlier today, from two o'clock I was hoping to, but I didn't get to that because I was in the middle of filming. I filmed for four hours today. It's never that serious, but I really hope that you enjoy the video that's coming out. I'm going to go for my walk now. I'm looking out the window, both windows, and I'm like, woo. It switched up real quick. It's looking gloomy, but it's probably still mild. So I got my sweater on. I only wore this for half an hour yesterday, so I'm gonna wear it for half an hour today. Hey, I got out for my walk. It's super mild. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it doesn't smell like it. So let's hope it holds off at least until tonight. I love rain at nighttime. It's so relaxing. See that I'm not the only person out. If you can guess what song I was just hymning, you get a prize. I was humming it wrong though, so you might not get it. But anywho, this is a perfect time to wrap up the vlog since I got a lot of editing to do. It's coming up to nine and I gotta post this on time. I'm thinking about switching the post time to noon, which just made me remember. I'm supposed to promote at noon, post at midnight. And I haven't even gotten that right. I haven't promoted today's video yet and it's coming up to nine. I need to get it together. But I gotta clean up the last little bit of stuff in my sink. My cookies are done. I'm just waiting for them to cool a little bit and I'm gonna try one. I'm sure they're good because my house smells delicious. And that's where we're wrapping up today's vlog. Don't worry, there'll be another weekly vlog next week and videos on the daily until then. So if you haven't already, subscribe for more. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.